Hey guys, I'm Dr. Lindsay Butzer, a small animal veterinarian, and welcome back to my channel if you're not new here. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to pill a cat. So I brought my cat here, Gemma, who you guys have probably seen on my Instagram. She's a beautiful torty rag doll, and I'm gonna use her to demonstrate how to give your cat a pill, and also how to give them a liquid if you're prescribed a liquid medication from your veterinarian. I want to thank this video's sponsor, the NASC. You could find their yellow quality seal on thousands of pet supplements for dogs, cats, and horses. I'm going to leave a link in my description below so you guys can click on it to see all the supplements that have earned that yellow quality seal. Oh no, you have to pill your cat. Your veterinarian has just handed you a little bottle of pills, gave it to you, and you're sitting in your car driving home, and you're like, how the heck am I gonna do this? So I'm here to help explain how to pill your cat, and we're gonna do this as easy as possible, as painless as possible, and I don't want any of you guys getting hurt. So we're gonna have a little towel technique that I'm gonna show you, and let's get right into this. So I'm actually just gonna use this kitty kibble, which is the size of most pills to show you how to pill a cat. And then I'm gonna use this chicken flavored liquid medication, which looks like this, to show you guys how to give your cat a liquid medication. And I'm gonna do that at the same time um, when I show you the technique on how to burrito your cat. So I'm gonna clean up my area and we're gonna get ready for burritoing your cat in a towel. So this is gonna be the safest way to pill your cat if you have a cat who hates being pilled, which is most cats out there. So you don't wanna get scratched or clawed on the arm. So you're gonna to wanna to hide those claws, front and backs, in a towel burrito style so that you could safely pill your cat. So we're putting Gemma here and I'm gonna just wrap her gently in the towel. So you wanna wrap the towel just under her neck and around the back of her, and then same with the back. So you kind of just fold them in this, and then your cat is burritoed, and they have no claws to scratch you. And Gemma's an amazing cat, so she's being super good. You might need assistance from a friend to help you hold the cat in their burrito so that you can then be the one pilling the cat. So what you're gonna do is just pet them first. You could tell them it's okay. <laughs> Maybe even make them feel a little comfortable. And then you're gonna use your palms and kind of just put on top of their head like that, like their head's a little hamburger. And you wanna secure their neck with your other hand. And you put your, uh, basically your knuckles on their cheekbones here. And then I peel their lips up right behind the teeth. Okay, so she's getting upset and that's really normal. All right, come on, Gemma, it's okay. So you do have to talk to them and I might have to even reposition her. All right, so but that's what you're gonna do and I'm taking too long to try to show you guys this, but basically you do that and then you use your other hand sometimes with your two things to open their mouth and you throw the pill in. So I'm gonna re-burrito her and then I'm gonna get my pill ready, okay? So we're gonna re-burrito, and you guys might have to do this too because they hate being pilled. So you have this, and you kind of use your like, I'm gonna pinch her with these hands underneath and pull it open, and you throw it in. Good girl. Good girl. Just like that, it's not easy. <laughs> so now we're gonna give her a liquid, and with liquid medication in cats, they are professional droolers. So they wanna get this medication out of their mouth and the bad taste of it, they will just drool and drool like <laughs> drooling everywhere. If you're a cat owner watching this, you're probably laughing at me, but you know they can drool all this medication out. So you wanna to try to kind of squirt it as far back as possible so they're not able to drool it all out right away. All right, so we're gonna draw this up and I am preparing for her to drool for sure because cats just drool. All right, so I'm giving her 0.5 this medication. Again, we're gonna hold her head, stabilize her cheekbones, and actually, you don't need to be so rough in opening it. You could just put it on the corner and squirt it in her mouth like that. There goes the drooling a little bit, and then you could just wipe it, and she's kind of upset. So you just kind of pet them. It's okay, it's okay. It's a good kitty. And just pat them. All right, 
And she's doing pretty good. They might be upset and want to run away, and that's normal. All right. You did good. I know it probably tastes bad. Oh, there we go. The drool. Oh, Gemma. And this is what all cats do. So if your cat does this, that is normal. <laughs> they hate liquid medication. So sometimes going with the pill might be easier. Also, after you give a pill or a liquid, some people like to give their cats a little bit of water, which I recommend doing too. And it just kind of cleans out their mouth and it makes them feel better. And then they can swallow easily if that pill was drying on their throat. And it's also a way to practice giving them a liquid medication with something that isn't disgusting and they don't want to foam it out. So that might even help you get better at giving your cat a liquid or pilling them. All right, so I'm gonna try to pill Gemma without the burrito on her because I'm pretty confident I have a good cat. <laughs> I'm not completely confident. Sometimes she can get temperamental like any other cat out there. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this a try. So for your cats that you don't think you have to burrito, again, you just pet them, give them encouragement, and you wanna be quick, open their mouth. See, she's trying to get me with her claws and that's why you wanna burrito your cats. Okay, so it's okay. Throw it in, there we go, I got it. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. And then you kind of rub underneath their chin. Some people even blow in their face, like they blow in and that helps them swallow. You're good, kitty. I love you, I love you, I love you. The last technique you can use is try to sneak the medication in their food. I know a ton of cat colony people out there who put medication in the cat's food, like in a little bit of wet food, and that's how they medicate those feral cats. So that's something you can try if your cat absolutely does not tolerate being pilled, which Gemma was almost on the border of that today. <laughs> All right, guys, well, if this helped you pill your cat, please put a comment below. If you have any other techniques for other cat parents out there, please also put that in, in the comments. And like always, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button so this circulates to more cat parents, and I hope to see you back for more veterinary videos.